What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Jay Cadence. I'm back with another empowering message for your faith journey. And listen, man, God bless this message because you know me. I, I, I got I to gotta, I gotta go while I got the inspiration. And you might see me keep adjusting my camera because it's you know, about to fall every time. Like, oh, my goodness. Bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. I'm just put it. I'll just put it back here. All right. Gosh, this damn was in the way. Bear with me, y'all. Let me see. I'll just. All right. I'm gonna just hold it. So listen, guys. Look. I just had a revelation. I was sitting here and I was praying, and then I stopped to listen and it's got to the point right now i just want to make this point real quick it's got to the point where i don't intentionally stop to listen it's like my spirit automatically quiets after a certain amount of me praying my spirit automatically gets quiet and then i just start hearing the lord speak and so that's kind of what happened you know i was praying i read the scripture um mark one i'm going through mark to learn more about jesus all over again and um you know i had started to pray and I stopped to listen and the Lord told me this year I'm going to show you how I see you he said you're going to know that you're good enough as you are and that's going to affect the way you walk the way you talk it's going to affect how you the way you come across in your music you know your delivery your tone in, in your in your um, your music and your preaching, and then this one thing he said. Sorry, y'all, my alarm went off. Um, this one thing he said that really got me. I thought this was so deep. It is deep. The Lord said, "I'm going to give you the confidence to be consistent." Isn't that great? Think about it. I'm gonna let you think about it for a second. I'm gonna give you the confidence to be consistent. The confidence to be consistent. It takes confidence, belief, and faith to be consistent. It takes hope. All of these things. Confidence, faith, hope. They feed off of each other. They feed off of each other. Your faith in God gives you the confidence to be consistent. Because when you have faith in God, you have faith in what he said. And he says that he has great plans for you. He says that you are a prophet. You are a preacher. You are a teacher. You are an evangelist. You're an apostle. He says that you have the gift of love. He says that I have, uh, you're a business owner. All of these things. All of these things. He said you're going to get married. You're a husband. You're a wife. You're a great mother. You're a great father. You're a great brother, whatever the case is. You are a valuable asset to your current job. He says all of these things about you. And when you have faith in him, you have faith in what he said. And what he says are good things about you. God says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Plans to prosper you. Not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in a future. You have, you have hope because you have a future. And you have a future, therefore you can have hope. Amen. God is good, you guys. And when you understand this, it gives you the strength to keep going, to keep creating, keep getting up every day and loving, to keep uh, praying, to keep going to work, to keep doing whatever God told you to do, to keep... Um, acting justly, loving mercy, and walking humbly with your God. It gives you the confidence to be consistent. Okay? When you see God for who he is, you can see you for who you are. Alright? And I, I mean, we all, it's easy for us to see the bad things. I'm not talking about the bad things. We already know all the bad things about ourselves. But I'm talking about the you that God sees in spite of the negative. I'm talking about the you that's going to prevail in spite of your shortcomings and your flaws. I'm talking about the you that's going to succeed because of your flaws. See, 
the crazy thing is your flaws keep you away from people who can't handle them all right and god brings people into your life who can love you for both your good and your bad so there while there are people who are repulsed by your flaws it's okay because they're not good for you anyway all they will do is try and they will damage you trying to love you and then the people that love you look at your flaws and say i can cover that with love with compassion with grace and mercy for every flaw for every person who can't handle your flaws there is a person that god sent to cover your flaws with love the bible says that love covers a multitude of sins and i want you to be encouraged today that if you don't have that you don't see that love coming from anywhere else you definitely have it from god now the question is do you love him because if you love him that means all things will work together for your good according to his purpose the scripture says all things work together for the good of those who love god and are called according to his purpose if things are not going well for you this is not all the time because god does use trials in our life to strengthen us but sometimes things are going wrong in your life and it doesn't seem like anything is working because you don't love god just being honest and when you don't love let's 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 take a relationship for an example there are people who are good for you and you know they're good for you but you don't you love you don't love them you love another person more because i'm you know whatever whatever reason you love them and you're missing out on the benefits that the person that you know is better for you can give you because you don't love them and when you don't love them that means you're not going to spend time with them you're not going to talk to them and you're not going to receive any benefit of that relationship so if you don't love god that means you ain't going to talk to him you ain't going to spend no time with him you ain't going to spend no time trying to um serve him as you know like you do in other relationships with people that you love and therefore you're going to miss out on a lot of blessings so i encourage you today love get to know god and love him because he definitely loves you and he knows you despite of everything he knows about you he still loves you and he still has a good plan for your life he's going to use the good and the bad to mold you into the person you always knew that you could be into a person that you didn't even know that you had the strength the wisdom the capacity to be okay your best days are not behind you they are in front of you go forth in the strength that you have knowing that God loves you and he's going to carry you with his grace and mercy every step of the way with compassion and love. All right. I don't think there's any more I can say, but Father, cover your people and give them the confidence to be consistent in everything that they do in the mighty name of Jesus, including loving you, loving others as they love themselves. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Bye, you guys. Make sure you go to newnatureinc.com and check out um, our very awesome Jesus swag, our prof prophetic clothing. These clothes represent signs of the times for sure. They will greatly empower you and others in your faith journey. And um, go listen to the new album. My first debut album is really is fire. I'm telling you, it's fire. Humble Beginnings by Joshua Cadence on all streaming platforms, Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music, all of that, Amazon. And um, go check out Heartbreak and Healing too if, that, if you're if you're in need of a healing for your heartbreak. All right, it's on soundcloud.com slash JK. This is going to greatly empower you in your faith journey, in your life journey. All right, I love y'all. God loves you. May um, love, laughter, and leisure be with you as you follow the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, peace. JK, and sign out.